Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. In this project, we will simulate a reverse crossflow plate heat exchanger. The present problem is going to simulate a plate panel of a crossflow heat exchanger. This, this heat exchanger consists of two special flow channels such that the air flows from one side of the central panel and the solute flow to the other, but in the opposite direction to the air flow. In general, this panel is related to one of the two panels in the soluble and airflow closed cycle. The fluid used in this pr present model include air and ethylene glycol. Their thermophysical properties are manually defined in fluent software. The 3D geometry of the present model is designed by Design Modeler Software. The present model is a heat exchanger panel with two flow paths, such that on the one hand, the hot liquid flow, and the other, on the other hand, cool air flow in the opposite direction to the liquid flow. The outer wall also act as insulators. The meshing process of the present model is performed by ANSYS meshing software. The mesh is unstructured and the element number is equal to 155,000. The cells are smaller than and more accurate near the wall boundaries. You may double click on the display dialog box and a new window will appear which, may, which gives you the ability to choose between the different parts of your geometry you want to show in the Fluent software. In the appeared window, you may choose between different parts of your geometry to show or not show just by clicking on them. After clicking on the ethylene glycol under the material tab, a new window will appear. In the appeared window under the properties section, you will see that for different properties of this material, polynomial sitting has been selected. Since we wanted to, to have our materials properties to change with temperature. By clicking on edit, a new window will appear. In the appear window, which is for example for the density, you can see that this property is defined in terms of temperature with a polynomial function with three coefficients. These coefficients are listed below. Also, you can plot this function by defining the direct variable and its mean and max value. By clicking on inlet air boundary, you will see that the type of this boundary is defined to be velocity inlet. Also, by clicking on edit, a new window will appear, which lets you to change the settings and variables for this boundary. After double clicking on the method, you will see that a new window will appear, showing you the pressure velocity coupling. Also, you, will, you can see that uh, the spatial discretization methods are shown in this window. Also, you can change this discretization into other formats, like you can change them into first order advent and the other options available for each variable under their combo list. And for the simple pressure velocity coupling, uh, the simple algorithm is kind of an iterative solver which uses a relationship between velocity and pressure correction to enforce mass conservation and to obtain the pressure field. After double clicking on the residual button, you will see that a new window will appear showing you the absolute criteria for the residuals of each equation. For example, you can see the absolute criteria for continuity, x velocity, y velocity, and so on. This criteria refers to the difference between the errors of each iteration and it refers to the fact that if the error is less than these criteria those equations have reached convergence also as you can see the convergence criterion is set is set to be in absolute form after double clicking on the initialization button a new window will appear in the appeared window you will see that hybrid initialization method has been chosen uh, which means that an average is taken from different part of the computational domain and these averages are set to be the first and initializing values for our simulation. In the shown contour, which is for the pressure contour, you can easily see how the pressure of the liquid changes from the inlet section to the outlet. As shown in the temperature contour, you can easily see how the temperature of the liquid 
as decreased from the inlet section to the outlet. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Master CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our expert via info at signmastercfd.com.